Hey guys and welcome to a task guide for Prepper, The Punisher Part 5. For this task you need to find one one found in raid AK-74N, one found in raid M4A1, two found in raid PM pistols, then you need to kill 10 PMCs whilst wearing a Packer vest and a 6B47 helmet. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So when it comes to getting these guns these are quite easy to actually get, but it can be RNG. So when it comes to the PM pistols, the best thing that I can recommend for you to do is actually run a scav run on factory and you can just loot a load of the PM pistols. Just remember the PMT and then it has a brackets T. Those do not count as the PM pistols. Now, when it comes to the M4A1, you can actually get this gun from Punisher Part 4, the last task you've done. So if you haven't sold that M4A1, then you can use that one. You can also get it in any of the weapon boxes. So the 5x5, the 4x4, the 5x2 and the 6x3. And you can also get them inside the hidden caches dotted around the map. And I do have a few guides for each map if you would like to go down that route. And the same as the AK-74N, you get this one from the, the bunker part one. So if you haven't done that task yet, then you can find it from there. You can also loot them in the hidden caches, the weapon box four by four, the five by two, five by five, six by three as well. Don't forget in your hideout with workbench level one, you can also craft an AK-74N there as well. But with both of these guns, they do also spawn in the Kibber store. So the keys are expensive. You do need both of the keys to get inside of there. But you can get both of those guns from that location. But also, when it comes to the AK-74N, there is also quite a good chance of getting them from sniper scavs. Now, when it comes to the sniper scavs, they can be quite hard to kill and let them drop. But there are a few locations on customs as well as the ones that are in woods. So when it comes to killing the 10 PMCs, you must be wearing a Packer vest as well as a 6B47 helmet. It can be the camouflaged variant if you would like. You can always get it done and completed in factory because you know, you're guaranteed four other PMCs inside factory. But personally, I would actually recommend something that's a bit more longer range like Shoreline or even Customs where you can mainly guarantee with the headshots and not get into such face-to-face -face firefights because that packer is not going to help you. If you are struggling with this task, don't forget to join our Discord. We do have a decent looking for group community as well as a pretty good Sherpa system. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. It's gonna say. <laughs> Yo, please turn off your hacks, man. Here. I beg of you. You dead? Yeah, maybe we should see if we can... Oh, yeah, I'm dead! There is someone there, dude!